Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Box Office Talk. This is the show where I break down what happened at the box office, see if my predictions for the top five are correct, then make predictions for next week's top five. So let's get right on into it. The last week, I predicted that number one would be Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Number two would be Spies in Disguise. Number three would be Jumanji, The Next Level. Number four would be Little Women, and number five would be Uncut Gems. And unfortunately, I only got one out of five of my predictions right for this weekend, and unfortunately, it was the most obvious choice. It wasn't like a really cool choice that I somehow got right. No, it was just the most obvious one. The number one was, once again, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, having over a 50% drop. Not as big of a drop as The Last Jedi's, uh, but it made $72 million this weekend, adding to a domestic total of $361 million. Domestically, it has outgrossed Solo, The Clone Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, and Attack of the Clones, and it needs $19 million more to outgross Revenge of the Sith. As far as the Star Wars rankings go, worldwide, it is sitting at $724 million, which is doubled the $275 million dollar budget at this point. They've already done that and they're going to get to a billion very, very soon. And it's also already outgrossed Solo, Clone Wars, Attack of the Clones, Return of the Jedi, and Empire Strikes Back worldwide. And it needs 51 million more to outgross Star Wars, the original from 1977. It's J.J. Abrams' second highest grossing movie domestically and worldwide. This movie is obviously just a big old fantastic success, especially over the uh, holiday season right now. As per usual with the Star Wars releases, though, I don't think it will be as profitable as The Force Awakens. It might be just about as profitable as Rogue One. I think that's where it's shaping up to be. It might outgross Last Jedi, maybe. I think it, that, that, that'll just really depend on how things are going. But yeah, it's doing great as everyone kind of suspected, despite it having the lowest opening last weekend out of any sequel trilogy Star Wars movie. Number two, we have Jumanji The Next Level actually going up from having $20 million last weekend to making $35 million this weekend. Just goes to show you just how powerful the holiday season is. Adding to a domestic total of $175 million, they have $220 29 million more to go to outgross the first movie and worldwide they are sitting at 471 million and they are 493 million off from outgrossing Welcome to the Jungle. I'm honestly not so sure if it will do that. Like obviously it held over very well and it went up uh, as far as the holiday season goes and maybe that means it'll do very well throughout the new year throughout the rest of January so maybe it could get close to outgrossing Welcome to the Jungle but honestly that'll that'll also just similar to Star Wars Rise of Skywalker just we have to kind of wait and see how that will do because the first movie surprised everyone. It surprised me as far as financial success goes. So as far as this movie's run goes, we kind of just do have to wait and see if it is able to catch up to it. If it does, fantastic, wonderful for them. But if it doesn't, that's expected. But hey, they are obviously making a ton of money off of this since their budget was around $125 million, And they're almost uh, $29 million away from outgrossing a half a billion worldwide. Number three, we have Little Women making $16.52 million, adding to a domestic total of $29 million because it opened up on that Wednesday, Christmas Day. And worldwide, it has a worldwide total of 35 million. So 5 million off from its $40 million budget it needs uh, 80 million to be considered a success. It's a higher opening weekend for Greta Gerwig compared to uh, Lady Bird, but Lady Bird was going through like the indie circuit. But even then, it probably wouldn't would have had a higher opening than Lady Bird if they went through it with a traditional release as opposed to a limited indie circuit. So that's very good. Obviously, this is obviously a very strong start. And I think considering the awards buzz and the potential here for award season, I think it will be able to double that budget and make a ton of money like Lady Bird and even outgross Lady Bird in no time. Number four, we have Frozen 2 making $16.5 million. So this and Little Women are kind of battling it out right now, adding to a domestic total of $421 million. So yes, it has outgrossed the first Frozen movie by $21 million. Good for them. Worldwide, it is sitting at $1.218 billion, and it's $55 million away from outgrossing the first movie. This is definitely going to happen at this point. It was just a matter of time, like I've been saying ever since it was released in that first box office talk video with Frozen 2. So obviously, great for them, even though I wasn't a fan of it, just it was obvious that it was going to be a success, and I'm hearing a lot of people really did enjoy it, so obviously, why would I want to take that away from them by just talking about how much I think it sucks? Because everyone's entitled to their own enjoyment, and I'm glad that people have been enjoying Frozen 2 enough to go see it throughout this holiday season. Number five is Spies in Disguise. I thought this movie would do a little bit better because it's a new animated film, and it's still the holiday season, and you can choose one, either this or Frozen 2 or Jumanji to see, uh, but it only opened at number five with $13 million. It is Blue Sky's lowest opening week weekend by just a couple thousand off from their last lowest grossing one, which was Ferdinand. That still adds to a domestic total of $22 million, however, and worldwide it is sitting at $38 million. The budget is unknown to me at this time. I'm assuming it's maybe over $100 or very close to $100 million, considering it is an animated film and those usually cost a lot of money. So maybe it has a chance throughout this holiday season, throughout the new year, like I've been saying for the other movies, maybe it has a chance to make its money back and double its budget whenever that'll get officially released, but right now it's not looking 
too good. It's 42 million away from outgrossing Collision Course domestically, and worldwide it needs 212 million to outgross the Peanuts movie because right now Spies in Disguise is the lowest domestic and worldwide earning out of any of them, and it has a long ways to go, not just domestically, but worldwide to catch up with any of them. So if it does hold over well, it's going to have to make a ton of money to catch up. Number six is Knives Out, making 9.7 million, adding to a domestic total of 110 million dollars. Thank goodness for this movie crossing over 100 million domestically and worldwide it is sitting at 214 million dollars i really don't have anything else to add on this because it's already ryan johnson's highest grossing movie uh aside from star wars the last jedi and i really don't have much else to add other than just uh please that they can make another one with benoit blanc and make it maybe even better or just as good as this movie number seven we have uncut gems making 9.5 million adding to a domestic total of 20 million dollars it is already outgrossed good time which is uh the same directors as uncut gems and it is one of the highest earning movies for a24 already and i'm assuming that even though it's opening at number seven the fact that it opened with nine million and it has a domestic total of 20 already it'll only make a little bit more money it's about to outgross midsummer very soon domestically so that is very good for this film i don't know what the budget is for this movie but since it's a24 maybe it's around five ten million something like that but either way i think they're in the clear as far as doubling that budget whatever it is maybe adam sandler cost them a little bit more money I don't, i'm not really sure but I, I think they're in the clear until they release a budget that is much larger than i was expecting but i doubt that that's the case i think it is relatively low number eight we have cats making 4.8 million adding to a domestic total of 17 million uh, as far as tom hooper's movies go it has outgrossed the danish girl by 6 million domestically but worldwide it is sitting at 38 million and it needs 28 million to outgross the danish girl as, uh, aside from that the other tom hooper movies uh king's speech and les miserables it's not even close to outgrossing those at all and it's about to leave the top 10 anyway so what's what's the point of even trying to say well it needs this much to get to that but it, it's never going to so why does it really matter i think it's official to say that cats is a huge flop it did not hold over well through this holiday season though it did make four million it wasn't like dropped out of the top 10 entirely but it's about to and uh when i went to see it with a group of friends barely anyone was there it was already in the smaller theaters i just don't see a big success story out of cats Number nine, we have Bombshell making 4.7 million, adding to a domestic total of 15 million dollars. And it already outgrows Trumbo and Mystery Alaska domestically and worldwide as far as the director's films go. So that's pretty good, but it still doesn't have other worldwide territories adding to the money. So the fact that it made 15 million in total is not very good since the budget is $32 million and they're still not very close to outgrossing that. Number 10, we have Richard Jewell making $3 million, adding to a domestic total of $16 million. It is way off from its $45 million initial production budget and there's no worldwide total to bump those numbers up as of right now and it's about to leave the top 10. I feel sorry for you, Clint Eastwood, but unfortunately Richard Jewell is a pretty big flop. Not as big as Cats right now, but still a flop nonetheless. Now it's time for the fun part, the predictions for next week's top five. Now you might be expecting me to include the grudge in this top five, since it's the only new release to come out this weekend. But quite frankly, I don't know how much interest there is in The Grudge. So honestly, and, and especially since all these top five movies that we have this weekend they are probably realistically going to hold over very well. My predictions for this week are exactly the same as the top five right now. Number one, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Number two, Jumanji The Next Level. Number three, Little Women. Number four, Frozen 2. And number five, Spies in Disguise. So what are your predictions for next week's top five? Leave them in the comments below. And if you got your predictions right for this week, you're going to get a shout out right now. Unless you didn't get it right, then I'm sorry. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Jackson Fulcher. See you guys next time.